we will quickly import an entire InfoSwim scenario to an ICM SWIM network, validate it, run it, and then convert it to an ICM InfoWorks network. We are now importing the InfoSwim uh, scenario after we pick one. So that's the first one we're going to pick, and now it's importing. And it, what it does is it brings in all of the data, gives you a little note if there's any issues with that. And it brings in all of the data. So it brings in the network, it brings in the subcatchments, the links, the nodes. It also brings in the rainfall, any climate data, patterns, driver to flow, anything associated with that. And what's nice about this is that the uh, rainfall inflows and uh, patterns can be shared with ICM InfoWorks networks. So we're going to go ahead and validate this after we've imported it and see if there's any validation errors. Look at the rainfall. Look at the um, climate data. And we're going to update it after we committed it. Go ahead and run it. Now we ran the model. Now we can look at the output. Zoom to network, it turned green. And we get the exact, we get the log file for ICM net networks, but we also get the SWIM5 RPT file. So if you're familiar with uh, SWIM5, you get the same exact um, output file. And the same parameters are available for graphing. So we go there. And what's kind of cool about the, uh, the way this was implemented is that you basically get the same UX, the same graphs, the same tables that you get in ICM InfoWorks networks that you get in the ICM SWIM networks. Now we're making a InfoWorks network. So what we're going to do is we've imported it, we made a file, we're now converting that to an InfoWorks network. So we click on that, go to there, and we're going to pick the, the network that we just imported. Now there's a little bit of detail with the uh, water quality. Swim5 has very um, flexible water quality names, but you can see you have to map them to the determinants of ICM water quality. And now we have our network. Validate it. There's a little issue with the suds, so we'll just put in a, a storage stick. So there's very good validation features in, in ICM and ICM SWIM. So thank you for listening, and I hope this was very instructive. It's a very simple and very easy way of doing things. So thank you.